क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन ऑफ आई आई टी जैन इकोनॉमिक्स टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी वन पेपर वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन लेट सी वॉट द क्वेश्चन इज सिंग एंड एमिचर सिंह सिंगर हैज जस्ट रिकॉर्डेड हिज फर्स्ट म्यूजिक एल्बम विद अ रिकॉर्डिंग कंपनी द डिमांड फॉर हिज एल्बम इज गिवन बाय दिस आई विल राइट द डिमांड फंक्शन Q is equal to forty thousand minus eight hundred T. Where Q is the number of albums sold and T is the price of each album. The per unit cost of producing album is eight. So per unit cost is rupees eight. so total cost will be 8 into q a profit maximizing recording company has offered the contract position to the singer let's see the first situation 20% of the revenue from the sale of the album 20% of revenue let's see this this is a profit maximizing company and it is giving 20% of revenue so i have to first ask what will be the revenue revenue will be price into quantity so this is going to be if i have quantity as 40000 minus 800 p then this means p will be 40000 minus q by 800 just invert this this is going to be 40000 by 800 minus q by 800 this is going to be 50 minus q by 800 so my revenue Will be price into quantity, so price is fifty minus Q by eight hundred. Quantity is Q. This is my total revenue. My cost is eight Q. Eight per unit. Q is the units produced. But please remember that in situation one, I am giving twenty percent of the revenue. so since i am going ahead and i am giving 20% of the revenue that has to be also part of the cost whatever you are giving to the singer that's also cost for your company right so there is an additional cost which is 20% of the revenue so what is the profit now it is tr minus tc so this is 50 minus q by 800 into q minus 8q minus 20 by 100 50 minus q by 800 into q this is your profit so you know this minus this is simply 80 by 100 50 minus q by 800 into q minus 8q this is your profit you have to maximize this profit so del pi by del q will be this is just a constant so 50 into q is 50q i will just open this bracket for easy understanding so this will become 50q this will become q square differentiation of 50q is 50 Q square is two Q by eight hundred minus eight is equal to zero. 
so this would be 80 by 100 50 minus 2 q by 800 is equal to 8 this gets cancelled this is 1 this is 10 this is 10 so you will get 50 minus 2 q by 800 is equal to 10 40 is equal to 2q by 800. Q is equal to 16,000. This is the quantity, equilibrium quantity. These many CDs or whatever, you know, we were talking about the number of albums. This would be the equilibrium number of albums. So, what would be the singer's share? It was 20% of the revenue when, what was the revenue? Revenue was this, 50 minus Q by 800 into Q. So 50 minus Q by 800 into Q and singer gets 20% of this. This would be 20 by 100, 50 minus 16,000 by 800 into 16,000. So this would be 30 into 20 into 16,000 by 100. So this would simply be 16 into 6,000. So this is going to be 96,000. So here the singer is going to go ahead and earn 96,000 as the profit. Now let's take situation two. Let's see what the situation two is saying. Situation two says the singer is going to get rupees per two album sold. So if Q albums are sold, singer is going to get two Q. Okay, now let's write down the profit function. Profit function of the firm is total revenue minus total cost. Total revenue is price into quantity. Price is 50 minus Q by 800. Quantity is Q. Total cost has two parts. First is the cost of production, which is 8Q, 8 per unit into Q units. And the other is 2Q, 2 per unit into Q units that the singer is going to get. So this is going to be 50. Q minus Q square by 800 minus 10 Q. So this will be 40 Q minus Q square by 800. This will be the profit. Maximize the profit. So del pi by del Q will be 40 minus 2 Q by 800 equated to 0. 40 will be 2 Q by 800. This will be 400. So Q will be 16,000. This is your equilibrium. And once you get Q equal to 16,000, how much is the singer getting? The singer is going to get 2 per unit, which is going to be 2 into 16,000, which is going to be 32,000. So in the second case, singer is getting 32,000. Let's see case 3. Fixed fee of 32,000. So in the third case, singer is anyways getting 32,000. So in case one, singer got 96,000. Case two and three, it is he is getting 32,000. So contract one yields the highest payment correct. Two yields the highest payment wrong. Three yields the highest payment wrong. Two and three have same payment correct. So the correct answer is A and D. Okay, thank you.